G'day, how you going? Welcome back for some more green and gold. Please excuse me if I sound a little bit horsey. I reckon I might have picked up a, uh, a little lurgy from the kids. Mate, that's dad life, eh? <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can see, it's, it's, uh, it's recovering well. So the turf is about three weeks post reno and uh, spots where I went really heavy with the sand are yet to fill in. That's all right, man. I reckon they're maybe two weeks away before they're, they're fully filled in. And we can see up the top there by, uh, by the CFO and Tricky there um, that the, the crop circles are still filling in. So I reckon they were dead spots where we stacked the tanks for a couple of months. So yeah, still got a little bit of recovery there. Um, uh, and down by the shed here, sort of down right down by the patch of shame where the scarifyings were, we've got germination there as well. So things are kicking along, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully in about a month we'll see full recovery like you wouldn't even know that we were here. So let's jump out the front and have a look at the front corner. Rightio, as you can see, the tiff tuff is filling in pretty good. So, um, mate, I reckon maybe another week of decent weather and uh, she'd probably be pretty well fully recovered. So um, it is a little bit slower up by the house. So that is to be expected. You know, uh, it does get a little less sunlight. So you, need, you do need sun and warmth to help drive a recovery. So. Yeah, a little bit slow up by the house, but that's all right. And uh, there is a little bit more weed pressure per meter squared uh, out the front as well. But because it's such a small area, um, I'm not really fussed on it, eh? Like, yeah, it's only gonna take me half an hour to weed out the front here. So that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty, glad that's over. So, um, yeah, look, it wasn't too bad, eh? Like, there wasn't too much winter grass up by the compost, man. Like, it must have been real wet over winter time there. So, there was just slabs of it, man. I was pulling out blocks like that. <laughs> We're breeding big here in South Australia, mate, eh? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, not too bad. The other ones I was sort of seeing were dandelion and um, Scottish thistle as well. So, yeah, no, not too bad. I'm glad that's over, though. Right, it's time to get the whippy out now and uh, mow this lawn. Let's do it. Alrighty, so it seems that the Honda's performing a little bit better now that I've given it the old, the old tune up. So it's getting across the deck a bit quicker and uh, it seems to have a few more ponies under the bonnet, which is good. So happy with the tune up. I'm gonna wait for a little bit later to give you my, uh, my full thoughts, but um, this is our first mow post reno and that's best done with a rotary. That's not to say you can't do it with your real mower, but if you are gonna do that, maybe give it a quick water for five minutes or something so that the sand's damp and doesn't get sucked up into the um, into the reel and bed knife. So consider doing that, but uh, I'm going with the rotary for the first one. So uh, we can see here, I've got maybe 5% worth of sand in my catcher here. So not too bad, eh? And uh, I am seeing little particles of neem from the application that we applied 
uh, last weekend, but I'm seeing still plenty of residual stuff out on the lawn, so yeah, pretty happy with the first mow. Radio, let's go and do the front, eh? Ha <laughs> radio. So here we are out on the front on the tiff tough, and look, I don't reckon it's ready for a mow yet, eh? Like um, the height of cut's probably around about that 10 mil, sub 10 mil. So I'd be rolling around mowing nothing really. So probably just going to let it go for a bit. Um, it is sort of stalky over here, as you can see, where we sort of got all the old, some of the old dead crowns and whatnot here. So. Yeah, it's just not ready for a mow yet, mate, eh? So, I reckon I'll pass on the front. What we might do is just jump back out and have a look at the back, eh? Ha <laughs> righty-o. Here we are up the top of the backyard where I stored me rainwater tanks. As you can see, they obviously killed off a bit of the lawn. But we got a bit of green stuff poking through, man, which is great. So, I'm just going to nurse this back to health. Basically, I'm just going to make sure it's damp enough to encourage recovery. I don't really need to water it much, eh? We've had some fair income weather over the last couple of days, so... No excess water required. <laughs> so basically I'm just gonna keep the lawnmower out of this area as well. So I did run two or three passes through here just to see what would happen. And predictably so, the Honda's just absolutely sunk in like a good 10 mil. So just gonna keep the lawnmower out of there for the moment. And uh, hopefully we'll see recovery soon. So excluding this area here, I'd say holistically, we're about 80% repaired, which is rad. So maybe one or two weeks, yeah, probably more like two weeks, we'll be rolling with the Bonner man. So Cheering about that, <laughs> beauty. And down here by the cubby house of trampoline, we can see that uh, we've got plenty of germination from the scarifications as well. So I'll probably be hand watering this at least once a day. Um, that's all I could really afford, man. Like <laughs> I could be at work, so that's as, as good as I can do. So I'll come out here, water it once a day to save overwatering the rest of my lawn as well. So there's no point overwatering the rest of that. Alrighty, if you guys enjoyed the video, please, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You guys do me a wicked mad favor and take it easy. I'll chat you on.